Welcome to channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cybersecurity, specifically focusing on Snapchat hacks in 2025. We're going to break down the latest hacking methods, show you exactly how these attacks work, and most importantly, give you the tools to stay safe. This is all about empowering you guys, giving you the knowledge to protect your privacy and keep your Snapchat secure. So, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. All right, kicking things off with a classic, phishing attacks. Imagine this, you get an email or a text that looks like it's from Snapchat, right? It's got the logo, the official looking font, the whole nine yards. It might say there's a problem with your account or you've won some awesome prize, and you just need to click this link to fix it or claim your reward. Seems legit, right? Wrong. This is where the hackers get you. That link? It's a trap. It'll take you to a fake login page that looks identical to the real Snapchat site. You enter your username and password, thinking you're saving the day, but boom, you just handed over your credentials to the hackers. And remember, Snapchat will never ask for your password in an email or text message. Now let's talk about keylogging, a sneaky tactic that literally records every keystroke you make. Keyloggers can sneak onto your device through malicious links, infected downloads, or even compromised public Wi-Fi networks. Once they're in, they operate in stealth mode, silently logging your every move. So, how do you fight an invisible enemy? First and foremost, be extremely cautious about the links you click and the files you download. Stick to trusted sources and avoid anything that seems suspicious. Next up, make sure your phone's operating system and all your apps are up to date. Security updates often include patches for vulnerabilities that keyloggers exploit. But the best defense against keyloggers is a good mobile security app. Sometimes, the weakest link in the security chain isn't your password, it's you. Social engineering preys on human psychology, using manipulation and deception to trick you. You get a call from someone claiming to be from Snapchat support. They tell you there's been suspicious activity on your account. To verify, they need your username, password, or security questions. It's easy to panic and fall for this. Legitimate companies will never pressure you to share your password. If something feels off, hang up or close that email. Call Snapchat directly using their official contact information. Trust your gut, be skeptical, and ask questions. A healthy dose of paranoia can be a good thing. Let's talk about SIM swapping, a scary hacking technique. Hackers hijack your phone number, taking control of calls, texts, and two-factor authentication. They gather your personal info through phishing or the dark web. Then, they impersonate you to your mobile provider. Your number gets transferred to their SIM card. They access your calls, texts, and authentication codes. Strengthen your security with your mobile provider. Use a strong PIN and two-factor authentication. If your phone loses service, contact your provider immediately. Let's talk about spyware. These nasty little programs operate in the shadows, secretly monitoring your phone activity, including your Snapchat conversations. They can track your keystrokes, record your calls, capture your screen, and even access your camera and microphone. Now, spyware usually doesn't arrive on your phone with a grand entrance. It often hitches a ride with seemingly harmless apps downloaded from unofficial app stores or through malicious links. So, always be extra cautious about where you download your apps. Once spyware infiltrates your phone, it can be tough to detect. You might notice unusual battery drain, sluggish performance, or unexplained data usage. But often, spyware operates discreetly, leaving you clueless about its presence. So how do you evict these unwanted guests? First off, regularly scan your phone with a reputable mobile security app. These apps are designed to detect and remove spyware, acting as a digital bouncer for your device. They can also alert you to potentially harmful apps before you even install them. All right, let's talk about a password habit that's all too common but incredibly risky, password recycling. We're all guilty of it, 
using the same password for multiple accounts, because who can remember a million different combinations, right? But here's the problem. If hackers get their hands on your password from one site, they'll often try it on other platforms, including Snapchat. This technique, known as credential stuffing, is surprisingly effective because people tend to reuse the same passwords across multiple accounts. So how do you break the cycle of password recycling? The gold standard is a unique, strong password for every single online account you have. Password managers are your best friend when it comes to managing multiple complex passwords. These apps store all your passwords securely, encrypted and protected by a master password that only you know. Remember, your passwords are the keys to your digital kingdom. Don't make it easy for hackers to break in. Let's dive into the world of man-in-the-middle attacks, where hackers secretly intercept your internet connection to eavesdrop on your online activity, including your Snapchat sessions. Imagine this. You're connected to a public Wi-Fi network at a coffee shop, happily snapping away. But lurking unseen is a hacker who's intercepted your connection. They're now positioned between you and the internet, capturing every bit of data you send and receive. This means they can potentially steal your login credentials, read your messages, and even inject malicious code into your browsing sessions. So how do you avoid becoming the man in the middle? First and foremost, be extremely cautious about using public Wi-Fi networks. If you must use public Wi-Fi, consider using a VPN or virtual private network. VPNs encrypt your internet traffic creating a secure tunnel between your device and the VPN server. This makes it much harder for hackers to intercept your data, even on unsecured networks. Remember, when it comes to your online security, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Let's talk about fake apps. Those malicious imposters lurking in app stores, disguised as legitimate versions of Snapchat. They might promise cool filters, extra features, or even unlimited snap streaks. But beneath the surface lies a dangerous trap. These fake apps are designed to steal your login credentials, infect your device with malware, or bombard you with intrusive ads. So, how do you separate the real deal from the fakes? First and foremost, always download Snapchat from official app stores like Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Avoid downloading apps from third-party websites or links sent through emails or text messages. Check the app developer's name, the number of downloads, and the user reviews. If something seems off, like a suspicious developer name or an unusually low number of downloads, trust your gut and steer clear. Let's talk about brute force attacks, a relentless hacking technique where hackers systematically try every possible password combination until they crack your account. It's like trying every key on a giant keychain until they find the one that unlocks your Snapchat. Now, brute force attacks might seem tedious, but with automated tools and powerful computers, hackers can churn through millions of password combinations per second. This is where the strength of your password becomes paramount. Weak passwords, like password123 or your pet's name, can be cracked in seconds. But strong, complex passwords with a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols can take years, even decades, to crack using brute force methods. If you're struggling to remember complex passwords, consider using a reputable password manager. These apps store all your passwords securely, encrypted and protected by a master password that only you know. All right, let's wrap things up by talking about software vulnerabilities. Think of your phone's operating system and apps like a digital fortress, protecting your data and privacy. Now, no fortress is impenetrable. Software developers are constantly working to fix these vulnerabilities, releasing updates that patch the holes and strengthen the walls of your digital defenses. But here's the catch. Those updates only work if you install them. Hackers are constantly on the lookout for devices running outdated software because they know these devices are easy targets. So, how do you stay ahead of the curve? First and foremost, enable automatic updates for both your phone's operating system and all your apps. This ensures you're always running the latest, most secure version of the software. Remember, keeping your software up to date is like locking your digital doors.
And that wraps up our deep dive into the world of Snapchat hacks in 2025. We've covered a lot of ground today, from phishing attacks to SIM swapping, from spyware to brute force attacks. The key takeaway here is that knowledge is power. By understanding the tactics hackers use, you can take proactive steps to protect yourself and stay safe online. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing journey, not a destination. So, stay informed, stay vigilant, and keep those Snapchats secure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness about online safety.